Hi everyone, welcome to our studio. My name is Monica. In case you don't know me, I'm one of the owners here at Pinos Palette Long Beach. And today we're gonna to teach you a little bit of blending. Yep, that's what we're gonna do because we do a lot of blending in our studio. As you can see by some of our paintings that we have here, uh, these are some of the paintings that we do in our studio, obviously in a larger scale. But uh, yeah, we do a lot of sunsets, we do a lot of ocean scenes. So today I'm gonna to teach you a couple of techniques on how to do that. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, everybody, you ready? So now, the first technique we're gonna be doing is a very simple one, and it's just gonna be a very straightforward, the way we do some of these sunsets going back and forth like this, okay? So we're gonna start with a nice little yellow color in the center, all right? So we're just gonna get some of our yellow, and I just have our primary colors today. We're just gonna work with primary colors. But we're gonna use a little bit of yellow, okay? And you're going to just start with a yellow streak going straight across. Right, just straight across, just like that. Because you want a nice, a nice bright sunset in the center there, right? We got a little hair on there. Okay. Okay, so you don't want it too wet and you don't want it too dry either. Alright? So you're gonna get a nice thick line going across there. There you go. Nice thick line. Alright. So now we're gonna do the bottom portion of the, of, or actually let's, let's do the top portion because this is where the, the actual sunset is, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to, um, we're gonna mix a little bit of uh, red and yellow, which of course makes, makes orange, okay? So we're gonna get a little bit of uh, uh, yellow. You always start with the, the lighter color first and then you just add a little tiny bit of the darker because the darker goes a real long way. So after you add a little bit of um, you know, the darker color, you can see whether you need to add a little bit more or not. But it's kind of hard to, um, to get a, 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 a different color or a, a lighter color when you put too much dark in there. So you always start with your lighter color. So there's your, our little orange color. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna kind of go like in between here. We're not gonna touch that color just yet, all right? We're gonna kinda start here so we can get a good flow, and then we're gonna start moving down into that yellow color. All right, there we go. We're gonna start moving down into the, and you want the yellow to still be a little wet, okay? You want it to be a little bit wet because otherwise it's not gonna blend very well. And when you do your blending, you always go all the way across from one end to the other. All right, so you get a nice, nice blend there. You see how that goes? Okay, so now we're gonna do the top. We're gonna go with the red. We're gonna make a nice, deep, deep red. So we're gonna start with the top there and go all the way across. And then we're gonna go right into that other color. Okay, see how nice it blends down? And then you're just gonna keep going down. Just keep going down like that. There you go. You don't want to go too much into that yellow because you don't want to you don't want to uh, uh, take away uh, that that real bright bright uh, uh, sunset that we have. Now I'm going to show you another technique of how to how to mix your colors without having to do this color separately. Okay, but for that we're going to need a clean brush. With a clean brush now, we're going to get we're going to get oops half of our brush, we're gonna dip it into this orange, okay? We're gonna dip it into that orange like that, half of the brush. And the other half is gonna be the yellow. So it's gonna be half orange and half yellow. So of course, we're gonna keep the yellow on the top because that's where mostly our yellow is and the orange is on the bottom. So look what happens when we do this. Now we have both colors on there, but look at how nicely blended those are. And it goes straight, and again, you wanna go all the way back and forth like that. All right? And we can continue on with our orange back and forth, and we should mix a little bit more of this orange because we're kind of running out a little bit. And just continue going all the way across, back and forth. And you want it really smooth. You don't want it just to be scratchy. All right, so there's a nice little blend there. All right, and then, so then, we'll, then we just continue with our straight red down here. Right. 
So that's one way of blending, all right? So now what we're gonna do is teach you another way of blending. We're gonna be doing a circle blend, all right? And for the circle blend, we're gonna be using uh, white and blue, just two colors, all right? We're gonna take a big, a nice, just amount of white, all right? And we're just gonna start with a circle. We're gonna make a circle right in the center there, all right? And I know you can't see it very well, but it's there, believe me. So we're gonna make a circle in the center just like that. And then we're gonna pick up a little bit of our blue. Just, and we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the same technique we used down here. There's our white, and we're just on one side, we're just gonna put the blue, one corner. So we got blue on one side and, and, and white on the other side, right? There we go, as you can see. So what you wanna do is you wanna keep that white in the center and the blue on the other side. So let's start going around that way. All right, so you go all the way around like this. You don't wanna go in that center because that blue is very potent. And if you use that blue uh, too far into that center, it's gonna, it's gonna make that whole, that whole white part, that whole white part blue. So we don't wanna do, do, want, we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna actually pick up some more white. We're gonna make that a little bit softer because right around the moon, it's a little bit of a halo, okay? So we're gonna go straight around like that. And we're gonna, again, we're gonna be picking up a little bit of blue and a little bit of white. And we're gonna mix it up just a little bit, all right? We're gonna start picking up some more blue because now we're going into the edges over here. And again, same thing with like down here, we wanna go from one end to the other. We wanna keep those circles as complete as possible. We don't wanna be doing this. Because if we do that, it's gonna leave marks. And we don't want marks, we want it to be a nice, smooth halo going around that moon. All right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna start picking up some dark, dark blue. to the other side and again now I'm just working with straight blue all right straight blue going all the way to the end and again you want you want to, to keep the, the edges very dark because that gives it that little vignette kind of look okay so, so there you have it that's all there is to blending easy huh as they say, the only difference between you and Picasso is practice. So to help you with a little bit of that practice, you should go to our website at pinospalette.com uh, forward slash long dash beach and take a look at our calendar. We have a lot of virtual classes that we're offering. All you have to do is just sign up for one of the classes uh, on the day and time that you'd like. Uh, it is a Zoom class. So uh, once you sign up, call us up. We'll get your kit ready. You can come and pick it up at our studio. And, uh, or if you have your supplies at home, you can uh, sign up for just the virtual class alone. And, uh, and if, if you don't wanna join one of our virtual classes, we also have painting kits that you can take home that have instructions as well, all right? So hopefully you'll join us at one of our classes and hopefully soon you'll, you can join us here in our studio, okay? All right, this is me signing off. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll talk to you soon.